Today is a really exciting day. We have our friends Eamon and Beck coming to visit us here in the Bahamas on board the Vagabond to spend a week with us. They're going to be experiencing boat life for the first time. Just do it. You know what I mean? We haven't actually met these guys yet. We've communicated a lot online over the years. What better way to get to know these guys than having dinner surrounded by sharks? We're actually pretty nervous about this, so there's a big difference between swimming with sharks, which we've done a lot of. When you can keep your eye on them, they behave a bit better, but when you're waist deep with them and there's food around, I'm a little bit nervous, so I think this will be really funny. Not only are we double dating with Eamon and Beck surrounded by sharks, but we're going to be showing them the ropes for the day sail. Then we'll get to know them a bit better over a game of truth or dare and taking double dating to the next level with some cave diving. And last but not least, we'll be hanging out on the beach with some semi-friendly furry friends. So join us for some of the best fun we've personally had in a very long time. It does so bad. That was a piece of cake. We are here. So we've just taken our boat to dock up. We haven't been in kind of civilization for a while, so we need to clean the boat. We need to clean all the sheets and the towels. We also wanted to come here to pick up two YouTubers, Eamon and Beck. They're van lifers. And we've been in touch for a while and they were like, hey, we're just gonna zip down and come visit. And we're like, okay. So the funny thing is this island has two very, very small food stores. So we're gonna have to do what we can at these food shops. Oh. Who's gonna drive? Me. Okay. This is sick. For the past seven years, Riley and I have been sailing around the world for. Our trips to and from various grocery stores around the world are always different, but without a doubt, we'd get lost. To the left, to the left, 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 left. Recently, we started having crew on board to help out, especially now that we have two kids. That's Sarah and David, who you can see holding on for dear life in the back seats. So we only bought two face masks. This is actually David's. <laughs> so her and I are going to go in and shop, and the boys are going to go for a burn around the block with the kids. It's tofu. It's tofu. Yeah. And it's organic. Oh my gosh. That's the best news all day. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. 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 Tied around the pole. You don't need to go over the top. Guys, Eamon and Beck. Hey! <laughs> we found them and they didn't lose their luggage, which we thought, but everything is all good. You guys were prompt with the pickup. They're in your own van. And you can't steal Sarah. She's out. Really? She's Canadian. <laughs> I have baby fever already, Riley. Oh, oh. And then he whines and I just go, Mom! It was nice to have Eamon and Beck settle into life on the vagabond so easily. We headed to bed pretty early, so we'd have energy for our next few days of double dating. Last night was a really, really long night for both Riley and I. We don't usually tie up to docks, so the fender was squeaking, and so I decided to go up to the house. Yes. Riley had the same idea. He was in the house with Lenny. I slept on the futon oh. with Darwin, but do you ever get that thing where you're in a new place and you don't feel like super comfortable? You're hyper aware, so you can't actually sleep. I saw a TED talk about it. By the way, I'm puffing because we're all doing a workout on the boat. <laughs> yeah, it's a really normal thing to move into a new place and not sleep. It's like your, your instincts telling you, I've got to protect my cubs. So that was me last night, but this morning Riley and I managed to catch up on an hour or something. So after this workout, I'd say we're ready for the day. Spirits are high this morning. Thank goodness. With a crisp sea breeze and a workout done, we were as mentally prepared as we could be for our date with the sharks. Oh my 
Okay, so no splashy. The best thing about this restaurant is you can wee at the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I love how freaked out you are. This is brilliant. Is there a reason why you put us on the ends? Yeah. <laughs> Just before I sat down, I stabbed my foot with a seashell, so I am bleeding. Oh, it is bleeding quite a bit. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, I really stabbed it, so. If there's anything, don't make any splash, even if you get bit. Oh, my God. They will let it go in about five seconds after you get bit. So just wait. You want to feed them sometimes? No, thank yep. you. There you go, mate. Plum That's on. Bit on the table. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Protect your face. <laughs> Thank All right, you ready, David? Yes. Right, ready, yes. yes. My vagabond Hi. style. Yeah, Thank you very it. much for having me. I don't us. have any squid. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We should call this squid gun. Squid gun? No, because this is we have to do. What's up in my butt? 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 I was doing oh. so Breathe, 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 just chill. Breathe, <laughs> breathe. Have a carrot. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna come up with a carrot! No, 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 the bucket's under my butt and their head is touching me! Can you grab the rope? Fine. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Did you get beat? No, no I almost fell in. went for my hand. Sorry, guys. No, I, I thought it'd be calmer sorry. than that, but... That is warm wine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so thank you for joining our double date today, guys. Well, thank you so much for having us. This is a dream come true. Cheers. Really, cheers. Yeah, this is nice. Cheers. Toast to the host. Cheers. Thanks thank for having you. us. Oh, Riley got a little excited, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little nervous. Well, this has been quite the evening. Mm. It has. Yeah. Look at section of it. Holy <gasps> shit. If your hand is in the water... If you had shown me that before the date, I'm not sure I would have said it. <laughs> Quite nice, a little smoky, Elena. Oh, smoky, I'm getting chocolate, chocolate aromas. Yeah, mm. yeah. So Elena set this up. Far be it from me to point out any flaws in the thing that she's done here, but this is raw pasta. These carrots are inedible. These cucumbers have been sitting in the sun for like <laughs> hours and everything is disgusting. Love you too. <laughs> Mwah. You guys trying to win the cuter couple at this double date? Yeah. Hey, man, love you. <laughs> Who's the cuter couter couple? Love you, Can't darling. Can't wait to massage your feet tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Let us love know in the you. comments who your cutest couple was. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> and David here is the bachelor, so. Single ladies. Let us ladies. know if there's any single ladies out there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bum, bum, big one, small one, <laughs> one, big one. <laughs> All right, back to La Vagabond. Nice work, guys. Thank you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Slowly, steady, there's no, there's nothing that can go wrong here. So take the time and, man. That's what they always say. <laughs> All right, so we're going to steer the boat into irons and then hoist the main. Dive it! This puppy turns like a dime. You are going to pull up this rope. Mm -hmm. So you can do that now. French have a saying, we could teach the pigs to sail if only they could hook up. Get her up there, Rick. Should I be pulling this? Yeah, yes. pull it through. That is R1 in the main, reach one. Ah. Stop. Good. It's shade out. There's supposed to be a spaghetti bolognese on the floor. <laughs> Becky's helming. She's like sailing eight knots downwind in 20 knots of wind whilst Amos flying the drone. Immediately on board, I was like, awesome. Yeah, if you guys want to see that video That's of them sailing, awesome us teaching them how to sail, definitely go and check out their channel. Love um, you guys, thank you. <laughs> Are you liking it up there, Beck? I'm loving it. Yeah. It's the balance between cross jive. Crash jiving. Go get crash jive. <laughs> <laughs> doing something bad and doing something good. That's it's a real it. balance, you know? <laughs> Oh, no, no. Yeah! 
This is a sailing must-have item. <laughs> the handle. We're back to eight now. And um, Eamon's making a smoothie. You want some smoothie? Yeah, man. I'm using my hand as grip. There it goes. Come on, come get there this. There he goes. Come on, Darren, go. Yes. Come on, buddy, go again. Everybody, kick with your feet. Kick with your feet. <laughs> you got it. Uh-oh. What happened? Apparently it was the wind. So these are the desks, these are the Do we have a hat? Questions. Nice. All right, thanks for joining this game of Truth or Dare. No, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I am very concerned about the level of cringe that's going to happen here. So Riley had, really had to be convinced to play this game. Hence the wand. We don't play truth or dare in our spare time normally. Oh, but we yeah. actually do. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, sure. We don't. We had a bunch of questions from you guys on Instagram. I asked, these are truth questions, and we're gonna pull them out of a hat. Okay, does someone wanna pull out a, a truth <laughs> question? All right. Do I? You have to write it out. Okay. Wait for the airplane. Look at that moon. Look at the moon. Yeah. Stunner. Oh. Wow. So my most embarrassing travel moment. Embarrassing. I feel like he's embarrassed right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Apart from actually, it's, it, it's, it's this moment the, right now <laughs> <laughs> in South America because I said that my mate did this. Don't tell um, me it was actually you. No, but it, we, I have also <laughs> done that. So I had to. There was no toilet paper, but there's a thing next to the bowl which carries the discarded toilet paper. And I had to reach in and grab it. And you use. sick. You did not. You yeah, told yeah. us that was your friend. No, no, but he did it as well. Oh, he was, I've done it as well. I think that's the I found a the really clean bit. Still, that's been on someone's Bro, butt. the back te like you could really infect your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Who is cutting Eamon's hair? <laughs> that was a question. Who is cutting Eamon's hair? Who is cutting your hair? At the moment? Lenny. Yeah. <laughs> um, myself. Who's, Who's cutting, cutting Riley's hair? hair? <laughs> you cut this too? Like you oh, cut the back? Occasionally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What are you most afraid of? You won't believe it because I was just swimming with sharks, but my biggest fear in life are the tinier fish. My whole life I have swam with sticks. Like, yeah, like I have a stick in my head and I'm yeah, like, like get sword. away, get away. Have you ever been in handcuffs? <laughs> yeah, I've been in handcuffs. Ooh, juicy. I've also been in handcuffs. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad <laughs> I would, well, I thought I was the only one who'd have to answer that, so I guess I also have been in handcuffs. I mean, that doesn't surprise me for some reason, but you. <laughs> Finish. Oh. What? <laughs> I'm literally going red. Yeah, you're... Elena, oh. it doesn't need to be sex. Whoa! God, I love it. What about yours? Ooh. Was it legal? Was it a legal situation? Uh, Mexico. So this is dare, then? This is dare. Only one of four is the dare. God, I know I haven't okay. talked to you in a while. <laughs> Please just give it to Riley. <laughs> No, no dare! Oh my gosh! Fifty no percent. Dare. I'm gonna get it, aren't I? No! You have to drive around the Anchorage saying hello to everyone in a Mario costume? Mario outfit. Oh. <laughs> I wanted you to do it. I hope you find Mr. Beast. And you yeah. Just, uh, yeah, and he's like, like hey, man, yeah. come yeah. on, <laughs> super yacht. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys. Thanks Cheers, for having guys. us aboard. Honestly, yeah. thank no you worries. so much. <sighs> that was awesome. fun. Awesome. If you guys want to see the full cut of our Truth or Dare, we posted the full version over on our Patreon site. You can become a member for as little as $2 per video, and we give live streams and throw out extra content like this. I'll put the link in the description below. <laughs>so I'm just about to get all of our dive gear ready. We haven't scared off Beck and Eamon just yet. We have another double date with some fish. My biggest fear in life are the tinier fish. Inside a cave. But what's so daring about this double date is that you actually have to swim for a couple of meters underwater to get into the cave. And you have to trust that there's oxygen on the other side because you just can't see it. Oh, no way. You did not just dip it in the seawater. He's never done that before. He's showing off. Remember, we have an extra pair of fins and a mask. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Some people are going to go without and then rally remember. Nice one. So let's eh? do it. <laughs> of all the dates Elena has planned for us, that includes sharks and dares. I am most terrified for this one right now. I woke up three times in the middle of the night and I was like, Really? How do I get out of this? Oh my it's gosh. Because you were telling me yesterday, like, as you're swimming, there's no end in sight and yeah. it's really got me free. So okay, we'll when take you it found slow. another mask, I was like, Oh damn, I thought that was gonna be my way out of doing it. It's like seven in the morning now. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty early. That's what I'm pissed about. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> so. The cave is just here. Um, you gotta dive down to get into it. So there's a, a little area above your head where you don't want to bump your head. There's quite a bit of current here. And because of the current, it's actually going in as well. Just do it, you know what I mean? There's no way that a human being can fail this. been having a great time in the cave but felt a little guilty for Lenny boy back on the boat so we decided to let him in on our final date with the pigs. Riley really doesn't want to come to the beach to see the pigs because he's been bit on the bum by one before. Whilst I was collecting rubbish and mucking around this other one snuck up behind me and bit me on the leg. <gasps> Sarah suggested that she dress up as Riley so I'm not third wheeling. Come on Riles. Come on Riley. You have to speak in an Aussie accent as well. Okay. Let's hear it. Where are we going? Going over to- Everyone, hold on. I, can, I cannot do an <laughs> accent. We're going over to the beach. <laughs> no. Nice. I don't use it. <laughs> I don't like touristy things. <laughs> Last but not least, our fourth double date includes pigs. Riley, it's been so fun hanging with you. Oh, same girl. Hey, don't get too close there, Beck. Hey, he's mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone grabs, huh? I want one. I going, I going. But then they grow into very big pigs. What do you think, Riley? Can we have one on the boat? I don't know, babe. <laughs> I don't know, babe. I don't know, babe. <laughs> Leftover? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> Watch out, Lenny. Lenny, stay back, please. Thank you. 
<laughs> Look how small Lenny is compared to the pig. <laughs> enjoyed hanging out with us. Join us next week as we continue on adventuring with our new friends. And if you haven't subscribed to Amy and Beck's channel yet, make sure you do so so you don't miss their videos and perspective on the whole week. See you soon.